Hello, Rusty here. This video is about uh, how to set up sound effects in Fantasy Grounds and, uh, and Skyrim Escape and how you go about configuring that. So I've divided it into two parts. The first part's just going to be how you set up the sound effects. And this is really targeted at players that have a GM that's already got Skyrim Escape set up in their, in their campaign. And if that's the case, then all they need to do is just download a couple of extension files, install them in the right place, and um, they're going to be right to go. So we'll get to that first. So if you're casting a spell or, or using a type of weapon or, or, or just something funky you want your character to do, you can uh, set that up um, to trigger them whenever you want to do it. So all you need to do is get two extension files from Fantasy Grounds and put them into your extensions folder. So I'm going to show you where to go to get them. Okay, so to find the two files, what you want to do is go to the Fantasy Grounds website, uh, go to the forums, and then you just need to search for a file called DOE Sound Extension. Um, and in when you open that, uh, that page, there's two files there you need to download the DOE base extension and that works for a lot of other it helps a lot, of, a lot of other extension files to operate and the DOE sound extension and just simply paste them into your extensions folder and uh, in your fantasy grounds if you don't know where to locate your extensions folder um, I'll post a link below to another video that, that I um, have made which will show where to go for that now, whoever has Sirenscape in your group will also need to download those two files. Um, and what they do is create something in Fantasy Grounds that will um, uh, allow you to be able to use those sound effects. So then what you want to do is load into Fantasy Grounds. And you can either log into a Fantasy Grounds server or load up your own um, game. Go to your library and you'll find a little box there. Uh, uh, that you can tick for sounds and when you do that a new window is going to open up on the uh, right hand side of your screen down where your, your images are and, and your tokens and all those windows and that's going to have sounds in it. If you go in there what you can do is then simply drag and drop sound files, sound effect files um, you can put them anywhere in your character script, you can create a item in your inventory or you can just simply drag and drop into a hot bars and then from there, you're able to just open those files up, hit the little button, and trigger the sound effect. So if you don't have Sirenscape, then the GM is the, the only one that can access Windows on your Fantasy Grounds. So you really do need to have the GM to have Sirenscape to, to set the sound files up. 